So the honeymoon is where, exactly? Well, it depends. If San Antonio sweet Sacramento, we could start there. Or Phoenix, or depending on the Indiana-Cleveland game. Garden spots. Oh. A swing of maybe 40 degrees Fahrenheit represents a packing challenge, but there's fine food and cocktails at a choice of embassy suites. It's his career. I'm supportive. Look, I've been everywhere. I want to be with a man I love. That's what makes it a honeymoon. I'm just saying he's lucky. It takes one woman in a billion to put up with his array of shit. The guy's a one-man festival of idiosyncratic... Well, you've been introduced to the symphonic range of... of... his snoring? Yeah, he says it's worse than ever. Y you know that snarful one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> now it's kind of got, like, this phlegm-rattling thing happening behind his... <laughs> Guess what? Your plugs work. Oh, what about... You know, cigars in bed? I broke them with that habit. But the bathroom is a swamp. He, he wears Reeboks to dinner. Mm. He likes action movies. He, he reads over my shoulder. He holds karaoke bars, for God's sakes. And I can't carry it to him. Really? He sucks soup through his front teeth. That's a trademark move. Don't touch that one. <laughs> but he sure can kiss. Well, let's see what you're going to You know, it's been a while. I'm just going to take your word on that. <laughs> <laughs> After two weeks of cataloging all of his faults, I made a command decision that changed my life. I threw the list away. He's not a balance sheet. He's Michael, and loving him means loving all of him. You get nervous in small, confined spaces? So it's sweet of you to want to be protective, but nothing ever could, ever did give me one moment's pause about this marriage. You become hysterical in small, confined spaces. Except one. You. You'll always be there in his mind, this perfect creature that he loved for all those years. Well, perfection can get wearing after a while. I'm not kidding. I had to face up to all of my competitive drives, and believe me, I've got them. No. And after all, what, am I going to be jealous of you for the rest of my life? Our paths will keep on crossing. Of course. He'll always talk about you. It's only natural. And the answer was so simple. <laughs> I was going to predict that. You win. I've missed his step. Got you on a pedestal and me in his arms. Oh, my God, it's the bride and the woman she'll never live up to. <laughs> Are you okay, honey? That's so sorry. Be it. Did she say the wrong thing again? Mm. That is so in character. And Julianne Potter. We'd be the vengeful sluts. You can just call us eager. Hey, have you sized up the groomsman jewels? As Emma Bates, you get first pick. Don't pick the short, hairy, fat one. He's mine. <laughs> Keep his a virgin. Is this Michael's, Julianne? Yes. Oh, I'm Isabel Wallace. And my handsome new son scarcely did you justice, girl. Now, my husband says we should scoot you over to the ballpark so you can hang with Michael. But first, you have to meet a lot of really old women. That is, if you've absorbed enough profanity. 